Hi, welcome back to my channel. Today we are painting a tropical bird toucan. Many of you would have heard or seen this bird. Uh, but I am painting this today for the first time. Uh, we are going to do a little blurry background. And then we are going to uh, paint the toucan uh, with a little contrast. So for the background I have taken a very light wash of cerulean blue. Wherever we see in the reference photo it's the sky. I've just put a little blue and for the uh, green I have used Vendaiki green here I have used uh, some of the sap green uh, I have mixed it with the Vendaiki to brighten it up a little and uh, Vendaiki green is a dull green so I have used that you can also make any of your dull greens using uh, sap green and then mixing it with any of the reds you can try that out but I have used a out of tube Vendaiki cream. That will be the main color for the leaves and the background here. It's not a very bright green. For the beak, uh, I have put water on the whole beak. And then I have taken a permanent yellow. I'm just giving a light wash of permanent yellow on the top. And below I have taken a pure orange, a permanent orange. I'm using Magellan uh, Mission Gold Palette with 36 shades and I have taken Vermilion for the bottom of the beak and I have given light wash of Vermilion in the bottom of the beak. Here I'm just pulling some details uh, with my number 2 brush. I have wetted the area around the eye with some water and then I'm dropping some yellow orange near the eye area. Once the yellow wash has semi-dried or almost 80% dried, I have pulled some detail with the same vermilion color on the top of the beak. So for now we will leave the beak to dry and we will start painting the leaves. So for leaves if you see I have left some of the white spaces because the leaf design is like that. There is a, some white highlights on the leaves. We are only going to highlight three of the leaves which are in front. And rest all the leaves we will be putting as less detailed. So for creating some texture on the leaves I have uh, used a tissue paper or uh, you can also use um, a sponge to absorb some of the paint and create some texture. So the four leaves which you see at the bottom those only we are going to highlight. So this is the same mix of Vendaiki green and sap green and I have taken a little bit thicker mix this time. And in between, I am vary, varying the percentage of Vendaiki green. Also, I am mixing sometimes um, some orange to it or vermilion uh, to create a, a different muted shade of the green. So here we are leaving some of the white highlights on the leaves. And I am painting the background leaves here. So for painting the leaves, I have used a number 2 brush. You can also use a number 4 brush. Um, so as you see I am varying the color for each leaf it is not the same mix or the same texture for every leaf because we wanted to show some variation also the leaves are not very detailed it is just an impression impression that uh, there are leaves in the background also making the sky is optional if you want to leave it uh, as is white you can also leave that as white but I just wanted to give some variation uh, hence I have used some of the blue color so near to the toucan we are using a very dark mix of the same colors because we want to highlight the toucan in the front and the leaves in the background <laughs> do not worry if the leaves does not look uh, exactly same how they look in the reference image it's perfectly okay if the final painting does not look like a, a, a reference image because we are just trying to depict how the reference image looks to us and we are not trying to recreate a photograph here. So for the front uh, leaves, uh, we are putting some more details with a light uh, wash of Van Dyke green. I have not mixed too much sap green this time. I wanted to use some pure color. So with the number 2 brush I am putting some details 
on the front leaves. You can uh, search any other Tukan images uh, from either use Unsplash or Pixabay. This image is uh, uh, downloaded from Pixabay. Uh, if you need uh, the reference image link, please ping me in comments and I can post the uh, reference uh, image link or I can also uh, send you the reference image on email. So it is very important that we choose the reference image carefully when we decide to paint a subject. Uh, why I have chosen this picture is because it is simple yet interesting. Uh, the beak of the toucan is a highlight here. And this bird uh, has sometimes up to 6 inches of length of beak. So it's very interesting and I always wanted to paint a toucan. And uh, there is not too much going in the background so that was one more reason to choose uh, this image so when we choose an image for our painting we we need to choose carefully and it is also not very difficult to execute or paint because it has very less elements and out of all those elements we are just highlighting a few uh, the beak is the main highlight here and also the front three leaves So we see a small uh, uh, trunk or stem in the right side so I've just any brown you have you can use that and I've just painted a light wash there of brown I'm not going to put any more details on the bark of the tree or so here I'm adding some shadows uh, on the leaves And then we will move on to the uh, body of the uh, token. You can also uh, paint a blur, uh, blurred, very blurred background for this uh, with bit of uh, dark colors. You can also just paint the toucan. You, you don't always or necessarily need to paint a background. So here for the white portion of the toucan, um, uh, I have used first clear water and a very light uh, wash of yellow towards the bottom. It's just a bit. I mean, we do not need to uh, take too much color else it may look a um, bit odd and different for the front part of the beak i'm just re-wetting it some water i have used indigo here in place of black um, you can uh, choose to mix your own blacks or also you can use out of tube black but i have chosen a indigo i did not want it a complete black shade so i have chosen a indigo here Yes. Here with a very, uh, um, you can say not very thin, but uh, with a decent mix of vermilion, we have painted the highlight or where the, the opening of the beak is there, we have just painted that. And with the same indigo, we will give the details on the beak now. So I'm painting only half of the uh, area and then the rest half I'm just spreading it out with a damp brush. We have not painted it completely. Similar we will follow for the top part of the beak. So in between whatever white area I'm leaving we have to leave it uh, white only because we want to show the curve of the beak there. So for the center of the eye, I have used the same indigo. Uh, be very careful to leave a white spot in between. If you are not confident, you can also use masking fluid to uh, block the white circle in between the eye. I am dropping some more indigo in the beak. 
so for the body uh, uh, it is not much complicated anything going on here it's uh, it is uh, very black and so we cannot see any shadows or any shapes so i have just painted the body as simple indigo flat wash i have not tried to give any shape or or any highlights into the body but uh, we need to be careful around the eye area that we do not mess up and uh, over paint on the eye area here with a very thin fine uh, liner i have given some of the details of the beak also on the eye and we don't need to do too much of the detail here i am painting a small triangle uh, with water and then we will drop some paint here uh, some yellow and some indigo to show a little bit of shadow in that area so i've used ultramarine but i think i used a bit darker ultramarine here uh, probably i would have used a little bit lighter ultramarine but yeah the highlight of the eye is the blue color here we are pulling some details on the beak with a thin wash of vermilion also if you see on the tip of the beak it looks like worn out because they have extensive use for their beaks so the beaks may not look very smooth so this is the final picture i gave a, a nice wash of indigo again on the body and uh, that's it it is done i have not given any too much details on the leaves so if you guys paint it out uh, let me know post it in the link in the comments i'll check it out also if you want me to paint some other birds uh, let me know i can try to include those in list uh, i'll be back next week again with a new bird uh, till then take care and goodbye